Hey folks, and welcome back to the Free March. This game is Ben's game. So who is Ben and why does he have a game? Ben was actually an eight-year-old boy with cancer. As part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, he wanted a video game where he could beat cancer. Makes sense. Um, originally it was kind of denied, but they, they tried to do everything they could to see if they would find anyone willing to help Ben design a game about beating cancer. Along came Eric Johnston. Eric Johnston was a software engineer from LucasArts, and for about seven months, Eric and Ben worked together to create Ben's Game, a game where you beat the crap out of cancer. And a little message from Ben. No salute. News. Okay. Well, I, I, I've clicked on some of these messages from Ben, and one of them was, uh, So you're bald? deal with it. And this is just kind of, you know, you, you got to give the kid a lot of credit. I mean, it, it's it's really kind of horrible to think of, you know, the children's cancer and all of that and everything. But he wanted a game where he could kick the crap out of cancer. And by God, I'm going to try and help him kick the crap out of cancer. Uh, one player. And you can have different characters. You can actually have your own characters. Apparently even a dog and a monkey. And Karen, and Kyle, and May, and Miriam, and Scribble, and Wacky Ben. We'll just go in with Ben. What board would be cool? I'm liking the rocket ship. So let's give it a shot. Play medium. So I'm not exactly sure what to expect in the game, or how you move, or what you do yet. Uh, perhaps the arrow keys? Okay, the arrow keys. Oh, God! Level one. Ow. Uh, control-wise? Maybe we should look at that. Yes? <laughs> uh, message thanks, make a wish, two-player, quit. How to play. Okay. Oh, you can use Wasty. Was it, was it? Tab is fire. Q is switch weapon. Okay. Alright. Um, there are seven shields. Those are chicken pox. These are shields for protection against side effects. Oh, yeah, that's, that's sad. <laughs> Staying healthy. Okay. Electrical barriers in the game are called setbacks. When you hit them, you lose attitude. There are weapons floating in the bubbles. Do you get a weapon? Just run into it. You can customize. Alright. Okay, so WASD is actually the zoom. Uh, this tab still? Okay. Let's... Ah! I guess these reds are cancer. Let's let's go kick the crap out of cancer. And chicken soup. Oh. Does not I guess I got that. I have a feeling this would be a game that might be easier to play with a controller. So, let me see if it is controller enabled. It does not seem to be. Okay. That's alright. <laughs> well, we'll make it work. I would feel bad, like, not playing this game, though, because it's, like, for Ben. <laughs> you know, it's like... Oh, I think these are enhanced weapons. I, oh, God! Vampire dude? Well, you don't stand a chance. We're gonna kick the crap out of cancer. Ow! Setback. It's alright. It's alright. You get little setbacks every now and then. Ben's sword shall cleave cancer in twain. I mean, I, I almost feel really guilty, like, I don't want to die in this game, because, like... What does dying in this game mean? That, like, you couldn't beat cancer? It's horrible.
I'm not quite sure. Are the red things... Oh, I, I think I may be putting the cancer into re remission. Get the hell out of here, cancer. Oh, I get it. it believe it. Oh, God, ow. I think we have almost beaten cancer. What is this? Not something I could get. Only a little bit of cancer left. Da 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 Right? Did I kill cancer? Or do I need to get these shields? Complete! Hey hey! Nice. Is this like level two? Okay. I get I get it. Oh! Yada dum. Yada dum. You know, a rockin' soundtrack would be awesome for this. And it. I guess. I mean. At the end of the day, when you look at it. Oh, God, my. Oh! No, I don't want to die! I need chicken soup! There we go. Alright. Okay. Um. God, my fingers are. So, yeah, it looks like. Much like cancer, that the. It's kind of spreading, and so you have to do what you can to. Oh, man. There we go. Oh! Ah! God, and just the way it spreads is... But it, it, it's kind of cool, like, what a make-a-wish thing, you know? Like... You know... Some kids want to meet celebrities, other kids want to, like, you know, I don't know, do all kinds of crazy stuff. But, like, this kid wanted a video game. Let's get our added... Oh, look at everything shot up. Kick your ass, cancer. So there's a number of different shields we go after. Ooh, this looks good. While I don't see this winning any, uh, you know, Game of the Year awards, it still isn't bad, and it, it's starting to get a little addicting now that I'm, I'm getting the play style of it down. I imagine that, you know, I, I could probably set it up fairly easily with um, something like X-Patter, where you can, uh, where you can customize, you know, your your mouse buttons towards a um, towards a controller. Because I think playing this on a controller would be much, much easier. Get out of your cancer. I'm liking this weapon, though. Nice little spread shot. Oh, yeah! We got cancer on the run. Can't let the cancer spread. Oh, it's gone. Bam! Woohoo! Can we 
of level complete? complete? Oh, I have to get the shield. Okay. Now I'm getting it. But I can see this as, like, kind of a really cool game just to give a kid. Oh. You know, I, I think it's easy enough for really anyone to, to pick up. Oh, God. Oh, 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 a lot of setbacks. Oh, that was... That was, like... Horrible. I can't even... I feel like I can't even make jokes of this, though. That's gotta be the fever. Alright, we need... We need to get home. Now we need some chicken soup. Where is chicken soup? Where is chicken soup? Oh, it's right there in the fever. Huh? Get out of here! sword thing. Let's get our health back up. Oh, yeah. Like, how do you how do you make jokes about a game like this, you know? Like, dude, dude, not even cool. You, you, you can't make fun of stuff like this. Oh! Oh, God, he just scoobered me. I hate it when fevers do that. I knew I'd be okay here. There we go. Like, you know, it may not be bad. I know a lot of you have got, like, you know, younger uh, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, even kids of your own if uh, if you're there. And this this may not be a bad game to show them. Like, you know, I guess chicken soup is my ammo. Like, you know, especially when, when the kids have a story behind it. Like, you know, this was a kid that was, had leukemia. He wanted to... Oh my god. Apparently that thing just wrecks your ammo. Yeah, that, the missiles just destroy your ammo. I thought Q was changed, but apparently not. I need a, need a new weapon. Something that's... Oh. Do I... With two swords, is it powered up better? can't tell. We're getting this fever down, though. Come here, fever! Yeah! Da -da 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 -da. Hey, I, I always give... You gotta give so much credits to kids that go through this, though, you know? Like the willpower that it must take to wake up every day. That's kind of why I do the uh, the Extra Life charity and why that's that's such an important thing for me year in, year out, is, you know, a lot of people looking at it saying, like, you know, uh, I don't know why you, you stay awake for 24 hours or last year 30 hours. W what's the purpose of that? That uh, You know, it, what are you trying to necessarily prove? And I guess it's more or less because when, when you think about it, these are kids that, like, they have to go through this every single day of their lives. You know, you, you don't get a, uh, just go with, you know, go to sleep and you feel fine the next day. So for me, it's, it's really, it's motivating. And, uh, you know, anyone who's ever known someone with leukemia or anything like that, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of an important issue to me without going too much into, uh, you know, I never have, but... I, I've certainly known people, and it, it's a, you know, it's a horrible thing. I figure we can give blood. Oh, we gotta get our shield. Where's our shield? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Fever Complete. is down. Let's go get rid of this. I believe this is either a rash or. Bleeding? I'm not sure what, what this is, but regardless, it's not good. So it looks like the best strategy may actually be... I think what you have to do is you have to get rid of enough of the cancer cells to spawn that boss. 
And then from that boss, you take him down and. What the hell is. Ah! Come here! Did I get him? I think I did. Yes, I did. So now, clean up stuff. Give me the missile launcher. Then, we shall save you. You know, it's funny, I... You look at something like this, and, you know, it, it's an entertaining game. But, I mean, obviously not looking like this, but to think that this could theoretically be our future of curing cancer. And, you know, obviously you're not having a little dude on a skateboard, but, you know, you've got the micro-machines, microscopic machines that, you know, apparently they're already doing tests, uh, Terminator tests, of trying to wipe out cancer, you know, with these little machines. That's just mind-boggling to me. Oh, God, ow. Like, to think that, you know, one day we'll get to a point, theoretically, of wiping out cancer, maybe not with, you know, Come an actual me. cure, so to speak, but little micro-machines. And, you know, what does that mean for other immune systems? Uh, let's see, where do we have to... Oh! I guess we're going down here. We have three shields to go. Level five. Frosty. You got nothing. Oh! I'm gonna get some ammo back. I wanna get that sword back, too. Oh. But apparently, uh, these two won an award for, like, the unsung hero, and I, I, I gotta say, I, I, I really am impressed when, when you look at how much work actually goes into creating a game. And I think that's something a lot of people don't realize, is how much actual work goes into creating a video game. You know, it, it's not just putting sprites on a field or, or, you know, any of that. There is so much that goes into creating a game. Even a game that's quote-unquote simple like this, there is a lot of things that have to go on for it to even, for you to even see anything on the screen. All the renders, all the calls, all, you know, even menus and splash screens are, you know, not the easiest thing to get working. And, you know, that, that, that's not to say that it's, it's super challenging once you know what you're doing. But I don't think a majority of people understand the amount of logic and code that goes into something very, very simple. Kind of fun to play this two-player too. I wonder if there is, if it's online or. What do you do with the kid? You know. Uh... Well, let's. Uh... Probably even like pro tips for this game. But I guess each one of those shields, as they said, were different like side effects you could get of medications or, you know, the side effects of cancer. Or I guess they're called symptoms, aren't they? <laughs> Not really side effects of a disease, more like symptoms. <laughs> We've almost crushed cancer here. 
Cancer killed. Moving on. No more chills for Ben. Complete! Yeah! Just two more shields to go. Uh, can I zoom out? Alright. Chicken pox. Let's rock out, Ben. That is terrifying. Kill it! Perhaps I should have considered that this was a child's game and maybe raised it to hard difficulty. But at least it's given you a chance to see what this game is. And more than likely you may not have, never have heard this story without, uh, you know... Ben's game. But I, I haven't been able to really find a lot of on what happened to Ben. I, I, I looked it up just to see, you know, if he survived this whole ordeal or, or what had happened. Um, I have not been able to find much on it. I'd, I'd be interested to see, you know, I, the most I could find was the Wikipedia article about the game saying that, you know, his leukemia is in remission now. Which, which would be, you know, great. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I'm curious. I, I would have loved to know what, what happened. You know, if he, um, if he ended up being alright through it all, or, or what? Complete! One more level to go, baby. And I believe we've cured cancer. And I believe that is hair falling out. So... Let's get us our ammo back while we're here. That is equally terrifying. Doesn't have the range. I think we're good now because we killed that boss. So let's clear out and wipe out the rest of Ben's cancer. We're just gonna carpet bomb. Carpet bomb the cancer. I actually even found out about this game through a website I love that many of you have probably heard of is cracked.com. Um, oh, there's just countless lists and, and tons of entertainment on it. But it was like the greatest, um, you know, make a wish foundation. Wish, you know, dreams or, you know, uh, and uh, this was this was on there as one of the top ones. I can see why. Pretty cool to. You know, as a kid, when you're you're so friggin' powerless with something like cancer, you know, you, <laughs> there, there's so much you can do. So, to, like to put to put it into your own hands, and apparently, like he did a lot in coming up with you know the Can game design. Wait. At least from what I've heard and read and such, that he he really helped design. So, there you go, folks. We have we have bested cancer. With a nice free little game. Thank you to uh, Ben Duskin and Eric Johnston. So, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching and tune into the rest of the free march. Thanks for watching, folks.